At some point in the future, officers have an autonomous robotic partner. Maybe it's in the form of a quadruped, maybe it's in another form, but that's how I see police evolving. Meet the future of law enforcement, the AI robot dog, also known as Rad Dog. I'm really excited about this. No stranger to the limelight, you may have seen this popular bot on the new reality show Stars on Mars. But on Thursday, variations of the robot performed in Ferndale in front of a different audience local law enforcement. We're always looking for uh, the technology that puts a barrier between our officers and danger. And I can see uh, several applications, um, especially when it comes to hostage negotiations and, and crisis intervention, where uh, this would allow face-to-face -face communication between our, our negotiators and, uh, and, and the defendant. Uh, without putting that officer or defendant in danger. Robotic assistance devices, known as RAD, put Rad Dog 2LE to the test. Rad Dog 1LE also took a turn to stretch its legs. They're both part of this artificial intelligence dog pack. These four-legged bots are designed to maximize what law enforcement is already doing, and then some. They can assist with a variety of practical tasks and by design are able to tackle challenging and even potentially dangerous environments and missions. It all comes down to their advanced technology. Two-way video calling off of the face of the dog. What that allows is de-escalation when we're communicating with people versus people. So that's a huge deal, number one. Number two, it provides a degree of mobility to get devices into tight spaces, such as a barricaded location or something like that. Number three, it provides um, situational awareness to the officers so that we could better judge what's happening if we need to take additional steps. Rad Dog 1LE has an interactive touch screen equipped with high definition video communication that goes back and forth between remote officers and those handling nearby. It also has state of the art microphones, speakers and headlights. Now the fact that this uh, looks and moves like a like a dog, I think uh, provides a level of de-escalation just there. Liz Lewin, Fox 2 News.